Can I stop flexing now? Okay, Fine. no, you can't. Put it back up, quick. Okay, now you can. <laughs> And I'm Alicia McPeak. We are here today to talk about fitness versus wellness. Are they the same thing? No, they are not. But maybe they should be. They should be. Just one of the things that we like to say. Yeah. Um, in case you hadn't noticed, we're going to be talking about exercise today. Um, and we, a couple weeks ago, the reason we're talking about this is because a couple of weeks ago, we did a video that was about confession. We actually did some confessions. Yes. And mine was that I was, as a fitness professional over here, I was in my first ever detox program. And it was awesome, and I loved it, and we did it together. Um, but you also had a confession. I did. So I want to know what your confession was. I'd stopped exercising. <laughs> shame. 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 I need a minute. I'm sorry. <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> so what, you decided to start exercising again. I did. As I understand it. And here's why. I have you. Everybody needs a buddy. Okay, you want to be healthy, you want to work out, whatever you want to do. You want to yes. eat right, you need positive sphere of influence, and you need a buddy. And so you inspired me, just like I inspired you. That's inspired right, you me. certainly did. So I started working out again, and here's the thing, this is the thing that we all struggle with. Every one of us, once we fall off the wagon of whatever it is, we get in this whole overwhelm of getting started again. And we don't know where to begin, and we want to be where we used to be, and so we don't do anything, really right? Hard. We get in this perilous, paralyzation triangle. Yes, totally. So what I decided was not to worry about my performance, how well I worked out, how hard I worked out. I just started working out, and I started in my own living room with 15 minutes a day. That's it. Just move my body. 15 minutes a day? And I just did body weight exercise. Phenomenal together. beginning. Because you start something, and it won't grow into something more That's once true. you start something. Well, okay, so the question really, though, is as a wellness professional, why bother? Well, what's the point? Why would you need to exercise? That's not really the heavy hitter in the wellness world. You wouldn't think so, but what people don't know is that well-trained muscle is actually the fountain of youth. Well, this is true. It is true, this right? This is true. And for so many reasons, one is that when you have well-trained muscle, not only do you look better, but and not only feel better, but you actually produce more hormones. And how many of us are suffering, suffering with lack of hormones? How many testosterone clinics do you see popping up everywhere? Yeah, there's a lot. Especially we women, as we age, we need to continue to produce hormones. So that's number one for mm -hmm. me. Also, HGH, human growth hormone, is completely anti-aging. Love about that. Total fountain of youth. We love that. Many of us have autoimmune diseases too, and I do, I'm one of those people, and working out, building muscle, in fact it has to be building muscle, you build muscle and you actually modulate your antibodies, so your right. autoimmune antibodies, so if you do have an autoimmune disease, your antibodies have more of an opportunity to come into balance through, is, through exercise. Love it. Well, another thing that I happen to know as well, um, muscles attach to bone, right? and so muscle itself, when you're building it and when you're getting it bigger and stronger, the bone has to strengthen to hold that muscle go. because otherwise it, it you have a problem mm -hmm. and so the bone is forced to, to get stronger and that helps with osteoporosis so from a wellness standpoint that's a good thing and oh, a little tidbit from the fitness point of view yeah. fat does not attach to the bone no so all that hangy it, flabby stuff it hangs yeah <laughs> muscle doesn't that's hang not muscle. muscle defies gravity yeah yeah that doesn't yeah. So. Okay, so one of the other things I like to talk about is well-trained muscle is an organ of detoxification. Speaking of detoxification, what? it actually helps move your lymphatic system. And if you're not moving your lymphatic system, you are not detoxifying. You're just recirculating toxins all the time. Yeah, see, that's not good. And HGH heals uh, leaky gut. Leaky gut. Buzzword. Anybody heard of leaky gut lately? Uh -huh. Yeah, exercise. Yep. Build muscle. It works. Okay, so one thing you said that I thought was interesting is you said you started with 15 minutes a day. Okay. Just 15 minutes a day. What do you think about a little challenge? An exercise challenge? Yes. Okay. So what do you think? Let's do it. Okay, guys, here's the, here's the plan. Um, we are gonna try to exercise, all of us, anyone mm -hmm. who's interested, we're gonna try and exercise 15 minutes a day. Yep. 15 minutes That's a day, it. every day. Okay, so if you wanna be added to that challenge and to our challenge group where we'll all do it together as a group, then put your name down in the comments and we will add you to the challenge group. Sounds good. Because we've been already done water, we've already done sugar, hopefully we're still doing some of those things, and now we're gonna add exercise, it's all good. Yeah, and I wanna hear back from you guys, how is the exercise working? Because yes. one thing I noticed was that my body uh, acclimated and grew really fast. Like I, I, I went from barely being able to do a few push-ups to easily going all the yes. way down doing a lot of push-ups. So you get to change. 50 minutes of whatever you wanna do, tell us what you're gonna do, yep. get to it, and let's go. On it, I love it. All right, because you can't be truly fit, without fitness and wellness. Woo! Bye!